Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead with another Battlefield 4 video for you. Well, today we're going to be resurrecting a series that I used to do in which I take a weapon that I have just unlocked. In this case, it is the new assault rifle weapon for the DLC Naval Strike, the AR-160. This is available to the assault class only. And as you can see, I am running it butt naked. That does not mean I'm in my gaming room sitting naked in my chair playing Battlefield 4. That means I'm fully clothed running this assault rifle with no attachments, i.e. butt naked. Now, let's get started and take a look at some of these stats. Now these stats, like all my stats, are courtesy of the Simthic.com guys and gals. Thank you very much to them. They do a lot of hard work. Uh, the max damage for this weapon is 25. Minimum damage is 18. Very typical for an assault rifle. Drop off 8 meters, drop off ends at 55 meters. The rate of fire is 700 rounds per minute, which is a fairly fast rate of fire. Now let's take a look at the recoil. We've got a .5 up recoil and equal parts .2 left and right. The first shot multiplier is 1.6. Now, obviously, I am running this in its purest form. It's straight out of the box, no attachments, using iron sights, nothing else. It's got that brand new assault rifle smell, and... It is the purest form of this rifle that you can get. Obviously because as you add attachments, it alters the characteristics of that weapon. And for the most part, alters them in a positive manner. So I'm getting this as raw as it can get. This is stripped down and raw as possible. So these are my initial impressions of the weapon. And these impressions don't really mean much in the grand scheme of things because after your first 10 kills, you, unlock, you start unlocking attachments. Now before I go any further, I want to put out a disclaimer in that these are my opinions. There are a couple of YouTubers on there, and I've been critical of, of, of some of those YouTubers, that they state, well, the weapon's terrible. I don't like the weapon, which means it's a bad weapon. But one thing that these YouTubers forget is that there is something, I mean, it's, it's, it's the random deviation of life. And in this case, we have the quote-unquote weapon X Factor. The simple idea that just because a weapon works for one person does not mean it is a universally good weapon. There are plenty of people out there that use certain types of weapons that on paper should not make them successful. And yet, they are successful with them. And there are plenty of people out there who try to use the quote-unquote tryhard weapons. Your AEKs, your Ace, uh, what is it, Ace 23s, your M416s. And they use those weapons, and they're absolutely not successful at all. They, they can't do as well as most people with those weapons. That's because of that weapon X factor. Even though this is a digital medium, this is a video game, we're actually playing in some sort of quote-unquote virtual reality, these weapons do have very specific feels and very different characteristics that each of us react to differently. If a weapon recoil pattern is difficult for me to compensate for, I will not perform well with it. Whereas someone else may have finer muscle twitch and muscle memory skills allowing them to compensate for recoil that I cannot. So just because I think that a weapon is good or bad does not make it a good or bad weapon. That is simply my opinion. Alright, with that aside, let's get on to the AR-160. Now for those of you that have not been living under a rock, you've probably seen quite a few YouTubers out there who have already done reviews on the AR-160, so I'm a little bit late to the party, but none of them really kind of do what I do with this quote-unquote butt-naked idea. There may be a few out there that do it, but none of the really really big ones do it. They, they, they tend to unlock everything for it, get their 500 kills and their master dog tag, and then go ahead and explain how they are successful with it with their specific setup and attachments. I like to look at these rep weapons in their raw form, determine how I play with them in their raw form, and then unlock everything and go ahead and do a proper review with attachments that I feel complement this weapon best for my play style. Again, you can, tape, you can take tips and tricks from me, you can take advice from me, but please, please, please research all options, play every way that you possibly can because the way I play may not suit your abilities. Now, there are a lot of YouTubers out there that claim that the AR-160 is, you know, just beast mode all the time, the new super weapon. And when I first picked it up, I was very skeptical. I, I couldn't really hit anything with it. I, and it, I was just having trouble with it. 
And if you look at the, the stats again, you know, you've got your 0.5 upwards recoil and your equal parts 0.2 left to right recoil, which means the weapon should pretty much just go up. It's not going to kick, you know, noticeably to the left or kick noticeably to the right. It should, it's got equal parts left and right, so it should just go up. But I was having difficulty, especially at medium, um, you know, medium to long range. And short range was no problem, but medium to long range, I was just having trouble with it. Um, and I was also having trouble with this. You'll, you'll see this, this clip kind of slowed down here in a couple seconds where deviations all over the place when you're under fire from any weapon. I believe this is a G36 that kills me. Watch this. I've got the drop on this guy. He's in the open. I'm partially undercover. One, two, three, a couple hits on him. And my deviation was all over the place. Uh, granted, that may have just been me sucking. You guys can, you know, be like, hey, you know, I, I watch that in slow motion. You just suck. Granted, that may have been the case, but um, this was, this wasn't the first time this happened. It, it just kind of, I kind of seemed to get outshot by other, other assault rifles and other carbines, and it was just, um, I don't know, it just, it just felt odd to me. And it took me a little while to kind of wrap my head around this assault rifle. Now, of course, like I said, I'm playing with this in its completely butt naked state, so. I probably should be taking advantage of some of the sights, some of the uh, barrel attachments, like say a compensator, or you know some of the um, grips. But that's not the point of this this series. The point is to show it in its butt naked state, so that you can get a raw feel for it. Now, is the AR-160 the beast weapon that a lot of people say it is? In my opinion, it is not. As of this video, I have not put a single attachment on it. I've got tons of attachments for it, but I have not put a single attachment on it as of yet. I am going to give you a proper video a little bit later with my attachment recommendations, but as of right now, for my play style and just my battlefield history, the way I like to play with certain weapons, it it just wasn't that god gun that some people are kind of touting it up to be. Um, <clears throat> but then again, I want you to go out there, try it for yourself, unlock this weapon. I believe the requirements to unlock this weapon, you have to get three assault rifle ribbons with any assault rifle, obviously, and then you have to get 20 headshots with assault rifles, and you can do this on any map with any assault rifle, and then you unlock this achievement, which gives you this weapon. So please, please, please go out, check this weapon out, and give it a try for yourself. I found it to be a little bit quirky and this is you know my first say 25 kills it was just it was a little quirky I was kind of like what is going on with this gun I, I just I don't know what is happening here um, but then as I kind of settled into it you know like everything you have to give it a chance you have to kind of give it some growing room you got to kind of burn it in a little bit like a like a new engine in a, in a car or a motorcycle you got you got to give the transmission and the engine time to burn in and so I kind of went with that philosophy, like, all right, I have to let this burn in. And hello, Claymore, at my feet. Um, so I gave it some time to burn in, and I was able to become fairly proficient at it with no attachments. As you can see again here, no attachments. And um, I'm looking forward to actually putting some attachments on this weapon to kind of see how far I can push it, because I think it has potential, but as it stands right now, it is not going to be my go-to gun. Again, my opinion, please verify this for yourselves. My name is Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching.